Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see? I'm gonna be so mad. YouTube channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Before we get started, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time we drop a new video. Leave a comment below and then also give this video a thumbs up to let us know if you guys like it. I don't believe this video is going to be too long guys. I actually um, have been wanting to do this video ever since I seen Prissy P do this video. So I don't know if you guys have seen the craze around whipped coffee. But as you may have seen in one of my other videos that I just posted, I have really been into like coffee um, ever since the boys have been off of breast milk. So I'm always looking for ways to try my coffee differently. Justin is not a huge fan of coffee at all, so I doubt he's going to try what I'm going to make. But I am going to make the um, whipped coffee. I think it's called Del Delgado or Delgado. If I'm butchering the name, forgive me. I do not know how it's pronounced, but it looks so good. Um, so let me get the stuff real quick. It's like simple and easy ingredients, and then we will go from there. Y'all, the boys are in there playing with Justin. And I was like, oh my gosh, since let me go ahead and get this video made. Because I've been wanting to make this. And I feel like I have so many friends that are like coffee drinkers. So I'm like, well, let me test it out to see if it's good. And then, you know, you guys can make it also. So y'all, this is very, very basic from what I've seen for the instructions on how to make it. So first things first, you can either whip it up with a whisk. If you have a whisk, you can use a whisk. You can use a fork. Just know it's gonna be a lot of legs, not legs, a lot of arm strips to do it. I'm gonna use my mixer because I do have a handheld mixer, guys. You'll need some type of instant coffee. Um, this is the Soldier's Classic Roast Instant Coffee. And then you'll need some sugar. So I got some sugar. So from what I've seen from some of the people that have done this, um, have made this, they've done two tablespoons of hot water, two tablespoons of sugar, and two tablespoons of instant coffee. And then you whip it up, whip it up, whip it up until you get like the fluffy peaks and then you add it to whatever milk of your choice. Um, however, from people doing that, they have said, oh, it's very bitter. So instead of doing two tablespoons of sugar, I'm actually gonna do three tablespoons of sugar to see if that makes a difference um, and to see if that, that is good. So first things first, guys, I'm gonna open this up I just got this because usually I use my Keurig coffee, but I had already said that I was gonna start getting um, some, uh, like some instant coffee, because honestly it's cheaper. Okay, so let me put you guys down so y'all can see what I'm doing. I know it's not glamorous y'all, because I got stuff everywhere. If y'all hear the boys, it's just the boys. So first things first, and again, I haven't looked at any instructions, so I don't know if there's a certain order in which you're supposed to do this. I don't know. So two tablespoons of instant coffee, guys. And again, like I said, I'm doing three tablespoons of sugar instead of the two. Because I do like my coffee um, more sweet. If you are not a sweet coffee drinker, then you might want to stick with the two. And then we're going to do two cups of hot water, guys. All right, let's see. 
I told y'all this video is not gonna be that long. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. May not be working. What a minute. Y'all, my thing may have died. Hold on. Let me try this other plug, guys. My mixer done died. Okay, y'all. We gonna whip it up ourselves. It's gonna probably take forever. What's going on with my mixer? I don't know, cause honestly, I, I kind of like the way this smells. So you see guys, it's really dark right now. It's starting to lighten up though. If you have a mixer, please use a mixer because this is crazy. I don't know what I did to my mixer. So again, y'all, it's getting light. Look at this. It's like thick. It almost looks like butter pecan ice cream. I don't know why, but in my mind, I have a feeling that this is gonna taste like a, I don't know, like a Starbucks something. And I'm gonna make it fancy. I'm gonna make this thing fancy, y'all. Y'all, I'm sorry, but this, do y'all see this? Do you see how good this looks? Do y'all see? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna be so disappointed <laughs> if this is not good. I'm gonna be so disappointed. Cause it looks so good. 
but I will say y'all this oh my goodness oh my goodness I, like I just want to try it I legit just want to try this it's, I'm going to make this fancy like I said Look at that. Oh, I'm looking at this, y'all. Like, I really want to eat it. And like I said, guys, Justin is not a big fan of coffee, so. I won't even say he's not a big fan. He doesn't like coffee, period. So, I wouldn't even say a big fan because he doesn't like it at all. So, guys, I think I'm done. I think it's time to put this thing together. So this is what it looks like so far guys I don't know if y'all can see that so like I said I have some I'm just gonna use 2% milk normally I will use our almond milk but I want to see what this is about with the full fat version the full fat version guys All right, let me put this down so y'all can see. So y'all can see. All right, so I got milk. Talk about creamy. Y'all, that's not it. I'm about to put some more on there. I don't think that's it. We about to do this up. We gonna make this just like they do. Oh my goodness. I already know y'all. My mom and my aunties, they gonna, they gonna wanna try this cause they are coffee. Y'all, this is the finished product. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do y'all see that? Do y'all see? I'm gonna be so mad, y'all, if this ain't good. I'm gonna be so mad. Y'all, do y'all? Do I don't think y'all see that. Do y'all see that? Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. This is the test. We're gonna see how it tastes. I'm nervous. I'm hoping it's good. Hold on, y'all. Okay, amen. We'll see. Uh, y'all. Hold on, y'all. It's so thick. Like I couldn't get any milk. I don't know. I'm uneasy y'all, I'm, I'm very uneasy. Okay. Honest review. I did three tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of the instant coffee, two tablespoons of the water. When you okay, 
it's bitter like it's very bitter but the first time when y'all saw my reaction i didn't get any milk it was so thick i only got the like the the fluff of the delgado delgado i don't know what it's called y'all it's one of those i I'm gonna put the right the name of the right of what it's called in the title it's just I don't know what it's called but when I got that it was very bitter but then as soon as I got the milk on the second time it was like actually really good yeah you cannot Yeah, by itself. So I'm just gonna mix this. Cause I bet you, oh, I'm making a mess y'all. But I bet you when you mix it with the, it's still bitter. But let me see. Yeah, it's good with the milk you yeah it's good with the milk but people this is my thing if you are a person that like your coffee like black and like no sugar no cream and you like your stuff just like straight to the point which i think there's a lot of people like that it's good i mean you would like this if you were a person like me who enjoys like coffee creamer and all of that then this may not be for you because I'm even so Prissy P's video she did the two by two by two like two two sugars two instant coffees two tablespoons of, you know all of that and so I was like okay by her video she said it was bitter so let me do three so I did three tablespoons guys and it's still bitter so I feel like you would have to do four And this is how the inside looks after I've mixed it. And honestly, I need more milk. I gotta cut that with some milk. Yeah, I told y'all I was gonna be honest. You know, just cause it look good, <laughs> don't mean it is good, okay? Just cause it look good, don't mean it is good. So I just added like another thing of milk. Cause it needs, <laughs> it needed to be cut, you guys. The thick. Mm. Yes. Now we getting somewhere. Now. Mm-hmm. So the verdict. Would I make this again? Probably not. But I'm not gonna lie, when you cut it with the milk, I, obviously you guys see, this is like a small glass. This is not a big glass. But once you cut it with the milk, it's good. And so again, guys, that is it. I do have a little bit left over in this um, um, bowl, but I will not be making another one. Um, is it horrible? No, it's not horrible. Would I have it again? Would I make it again? Probably not because I enjoy my coffee regular with my coffee creamer. But again, you know, everybody has different taste buds and things like that. So I would definitely say try it and see if you like it because, you know, we're in hard times. So if you're used to going to um, Starbucks or your favorite, you know, coffee cafe, coffee shop, and, you know, you go and you get your gourmet coffee and you no longer can do that because they're closed down, then this is a great, a great, a very good alternative. And then you can tweak it to fit your own taste buds. So, like, for me, when I was making it, I added another tablespoon of sugar because I, I know that I'm a person that I like my coffee a little bit sweet. I don't like my coffee bland and just black. So... I added that, but you don't have to if you don't want to, guys. So definitely, you could definitely make it as your own, even though I'm saying that it's not something that I would make all the time. It really wasn't bad, and as you can tell, 
I drank the whole thing. I just had to cut it with some milk. Um, like I said, I use 2% milk. You can use almond milk for a, ha a healthier alternative. I do have some almond milk in the refrigerator, but it's getting low. And because we are in the pandemic, guys, because we're in the quarantine, I'm trying to stretch out my things as much as I can. So um, I did have some 2% milk and that's what I used with it. And let me just say this. If you're trying to impress your significant other, then make them some whipped coffee, guys. They don't have to know that it was only three ingredients. They don't have to know it was three ingredients. You can tell them that you busted your tail in here making homemade, authentic coffee shop beating Starbucks, guys. You can say that you have your own Starbucks. So anyway, guys, so that was the whipped coffee. It was super simple, super easy. I hope that you guys try it yourself. You know, if you do try it, leave a comment below. Let me know if you guys liked it. What did you do differently if you do like it so that maybe I can try it and see if I like it that way as well. So definitely give this video, guys, a thumbs up. Make sure that you are subscribed. And thank you guys for tuning into this video. It definitely means a lot to me. I hope you guys are staying safe. You guys are staying healthy during this time. I know we all have to be with each other, guys. We all have to have each other's back. So even though I know that they are slowly starting to open up the states um, and letting people kind of go out a little bit more and do things, definitely practice your social, social distancing, guys. And just keep in mind that, you know, it's going to be a slow, slow process. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for tuning in and I will check you guys later.